Okay. Show me. Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet channel. Thank you very much for watching. And I've got a new, neat little FPV product to show you again. Um, is it neat? Yes, I think it is. Uh, it is the Aomway uh, 700 TVL wide dynamic range, wide dynamic range uh, camera. And let me show you the lens of it actually. Uh, you'll see that it's quite a wide lens. So that should uh, make for, uh, well, it, it enables the camera to capture a lot of light, obviously. And uh, the second, well, might be interesting feature of this camera is that it actually has stereo microphones. At least the specification says <laughs> it, it does. Um, I re never really use sound in my FPV. Uh, setups uh, to be honest you'd only be hearing screaming motors and such so uh, but it, for you it might be uh, uh, an uh, interesting feature and the third part obviously is that this camera comes with a video transmitter as a backpack uh, more or less um, it is a 200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter and yeah, obviously it comes with a rubber ducky antenna like this. You adjust a throw that away, yes. Um, it uh, does not come with this uh, cloverleaf antenna I've on it right now, but we'll be testing it with that as nobody really uses those rubber ducky antennas. Um, I got this one from uh, Banggood by the way, but um, I think Hobby King also sells it. I'll have a link to, well, the, <laughs> the first one I find uh, in the description down below. Um, at the back here you see the little dip switches with which you can choose your band and channel. It is a 32 channel uh, transmitter. Okay, and to power this entire setup, uh, that's really the unique selling point of this combination. Um, you only need to provide a 2S or 3S uh, with GSD connector uh, power uh, setup. Uh, there's no other wiring to mess with, uh, you don't need to figure out how to connect things. The camera is obviously already connected to the video transmitter and all you need to do is power the system. You can take the transmitter off if you'd want and uh, if, if for instance you'd like to use another camera you can uh, hook it up to the transmitter over here with this connector here. Um, the manual and specs say that the camera is NTSC and PAL but I think you'll have to just choose uh, the one you want uh, when ordering it. There's no dip switch or anything on the camera itself to choose uh, the, the uh, video format as such. Okay, so well, this uh, is uh, marketed as a wide dynamic range camera. So we'll be testing that. Um, the, the weather over here is a bit unflyable, but I'll uh, hook up a uh, video receiver to my TV and then I'll do some walking around with the camera system, uh, this uh, Aomwave FPV system. Uh, the sky is a bit overcast but that actually makes for a good test situation I think for the camera. I'll try to uh, point it uh, into the sun a bit as well to show you the the way the camera transitions from light to dark, always interesting. The camera is by the way a CMOS camera, uh, which generally aren't the best cameras, but uh, lately there have been releases of better CMOS cameras, so uh, let's see how this one does. Might be interesting, it's not uh, the, the cheapest CMOS camera, so that might be a good thing in this case. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, 
point my camera to uh, at my TV and then I'll show you what this camera shoots in terms of footage. Hold on. Okay, so what's the verdict? Uh, well, obviously it's always a bit challenging to uh, show FPV footage. Um, for me, uh, looking at my TV, the footage looked very good actually. Um, very detailed. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with the wide dynamic range um, specification, but nevertheless it looked Better than most FPV uh, systems I've looked at so far. So that's good. Um, you shouldn't take in consideration the snow, the, the signal strength I had uh, in this uh, this demonstration. Uh, the, I have uh, triple glass in uh, in my house and very thick walls. So uh, actually, it looks pretty good. Uh, there wasn't a lot of interference um, when I fly quadcopters outside while sitting indoors most of the time I have more interference so um, yeah what will I be doing with this uh, setup I'll probably put it on a EDF jet uh, that'll have to wait a while because of the weather but uh, I hope to be able to show you a demo of that as well in the future for now, if you have any questions about this camera or anything else, hit me up a comment down below. And uh, thank you again for watching. Hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.